what I'm saying is this this bend. I don't want to use this to make the 45 when if we take or to make a 90. Yeah. Because it's got all this bending stuff. Any weld job that I've seen that they make a custom exhaust, you you don't you don't use bent pipe like that. You no. cut straight pipe and make pies until you step it however you want to make whatever turn but and it can go way back it here. can turn here and then the next piece can be cut at a different angle and it can come back yeah you cut this one and cut this one and then those will go together i I've, I've never welded up custom exhaust but i don't want to use this well then we need to put this on a 40 unless the, this 90 just goes in and works that's fine yeah well they don't have any 90s i'd have to order it that's two more days and we can try it on this. Yeah, that's so the thing. We can we cut this here, and then cut this one, and then should be able to put that so together. So you're saving your flange? No, it's just it's big there. You can't cut up there. So yeah, one end of needs to yeah, be big. Yeah, need to cut the flange off. No, you need one end big to go over the next one. We're not we're not sandwiching we're not going to have 52 clamps all the way down the thing holding it all together it's going to be welded solid from the top down all the way one piece this that's what i'm saying this can be cut and this one down on this end can be cut to make your this has to be cut off we're not using a flange we're welding a custom exhaust together I know. oh i Is this what you just cut off? Yeah. Yeah, the other piece of the what I just cut off. Oh, there it is. This and another piece doesn't have to be an exact 90. You know what I'm saying? Whatever the angle needs to be, right. that's what we make the angle. Yes, but I understand that. This, you can cut your 45. Well, I don't know. That's going to be way up there. Well, the guy said 75 bucks an hour. It would take them probably a couple hours to connect the exhaust manifold to the X pipe. So. We can play around and we can try to hack all this in, but what I'm telling you is I don't think you're getting the concept is we're oh, not I using know. flanges and we're not stacking teacups or I know, Dixie I'm cups gonna... inside each other. There, it, it's going to be welded yeah. solid one piece to the I'm other. I'm not talking about. I'm not it's going to be welded like this, that. solid, and yes, we, we, well. we weld around that. Oh, that's that. Okay, well then we can use this pipe, and this one that's cut off, because it cut the flange off, that's all it did, just cut that flange off. That was what was keeping the yes. uh, flange the on there, right? So this has to go on there first. When we weld, yes. And then put this on, so we can use this to do our marks, to make our, to cut our 45 here. I say cut the 45 in the next piece. Or, or so not 45, but depending on the we height. Do our 90. Yeah, 245 is equal to 90, and we should be good to make a corner. Watch the camera, I got it behind you here. And it so it comes forward a little bit. Yeah, yeah I don't I don't forward. see a problem with that if we can I mean we can tack and we if we can take our time. I mean it'll see, save us have... 75 bucks an hour if it takes us four hours, that saves you I don't know <laughs> at least a hundred bucks. So that would work, right? <laughs> 
that's that's an angle we could do so if we well, we figure out how we're going to cut that i don't know how the pipes go together and all that but i mean we can figure it out okay well there's our angle so if we just move that back to where we get the whole piece then that's lava to lay down in there to weld yeah see that's the that's the part that's weird is it becomes a weird angle this, I know. this is way shorter than this pipe I and, I, and I don't know how to do those I know unless you cut way weird out well, of that one you, you could cut a piece to lay over that but it actually well this it actually comes in like this and comes in like that yeah, so you could do that. I wonder if you could just weld that and then put you another piece in there. I mean, that, that's Franken, how Frankenstein a, a hack job would do it. Yes, I'm sure. I know. All right, so get get that angle again. Let's see. That's the angle right there. And it's pretty much, yeah, it's pretty much a 45. And when it comes down, but it needs to be in a shorter area is yeah the, this is too too big of a 45 it, because yeah it needs to 45 as soon as it because this is going forward it needs to 45 back quickly quickly so let's cut i guess let's let's chop this off at a that's where i wanted to get that angle finder i need to buy one of those so Remind me, it put it, you got a list going? There's one that you started over there. Okay. East, Eastwood list. We're getting an angle finder. Well, that's Because I know you can set that angle on there and then whoosh, scribe a line. Yeah. So. You got an exhaust down flange for two and a half opening. Yep. And you got your rear window tar seal, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, there's, there's an angle. Yeah, that's a 45. Okay, I guess let's cut that and see what happens with it yeah Nick Nick Taylor he's got a deburring tool that he scrapes around each one of these yeah I know do we have he's, one he's using uh, a little bit thinner stuff for that air intake stuff. Oh yeah, I'm sure. But it would probably still work. Uh, let me see if my reamer will a ream away. Uh, I know this is a reamer, but I don't know. It's not. It's not really wide enough. Uh, but this cool might. Yeah, I think that's what this is for too. This one. Is that it? I think so. I think it was meant to ream duct work. <laughs> Probably. Oh, that's getting it. He's he has like a little I'll have to talk to him and see, or watch some of his videos, because I know he just takes a little, it's almost like a pen, and just goes, it just slices right around it. Yeah, but it's not as thick as this stuff. Yeah, I think that's what those edges are for. Is. Reamed. Yeah, I did a good job. All right, in honor of Freddie Stump, rest in peace a couple weeks ago. If it doesn't work, we'll always wish it did. <laughs> we'll always wish it did. Right. Okay, so how's it fit? We can take a little grinder and clean up some of that metal too. I don't know. If we need to. Okay, that is too big. But if we angle this one too, but it won't be super long, will it? See, that's where you have your angle is right, right? 
Now that's where you put this on. And there's your there's your degree. I mean, that's almost that's almost perfect. There you go. So we need a little cut a little longer one of that. Or cut a little bit like if, this. If you like if you like this. Here's what we're looking at. This is the piece he just cut off. Yep. So it has the right mating surface. Yes. And then it makes it back to a circle. Yes. But we need to try it on the car and see how that, at least this setup, works. Okay. Well, we can cut that same angle out of the flange piece that's coming down. Yeah, you need to hold it. Yes, I agree. Okay. Just hold that there. All right. That goes there. Okay, that brings it down where we want it. Then rotate it, rotate it uh, counterclockwise. Nope, other way. Yeah. Yeah. See if we just mount it like that. that and then I've got a, the 45 to take it from here to make it straight again because we're at a 45. That'll work. Okay. Well, then we need to cut that pie piece. We need to make a new one of that that goes solid and maybe hold on, put it back up there and see if it's a little bit longer. If it will uh, still accomplish our goals here, because we need it a little bit longer. Oh yeah, it could. It could. So if it came down here, we could get it rotated down. Oh yeah, yeah. This could be a solid piece and longer. Yeah, I just I don't want to hack in. All right. I don't want to hack in that weld that it's not a full piece. I want a full weld. Okay, then we need to cut that out of, say, this piece. Yeah, just a straight piece, if we can get that same angle. Okay, how much did I cut off to get that? How far back did I go? Was it a 45 oh. that you cut? Yeah, I cut it right to the edge. So, all we got to do is... You need to leave, I don't know least a quarter inch we'll drop it down just a smidge longer yeah see i made it that long so yeah just do your same line but just like that yeah that's that what way I mean. that way we've got a little a full bit of lip yeah full lip to meet it up we just eyeball it is that what we did that's where i wish we had that angle finder because i think you can lay it on a pipe and it'll, it'll draw a circular angle there I can look at that, that 45. Yeah, see now when it cuts this off, the piece is going to be that long. There's going to be that much meat yeah, on there. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Cool. All right, let's, let's cut it. And this is just another piece of pipe. There's Well, I would. I got these longer pieces to fill in this gap. But this can be a little shorter because we're bringing it down. This will probably get ended up cut off short. It'll probably end up being here about. Let's see, because you're bringing it back farther. Yeah. Well, well, I think you need pipe to go forward from here anyway. Yeah, see, this is gonna, this is gonna bring it to here. And then we'll need another 30, oh, 30 degree angle or so. Oh, this is we were cutting off. So, this, we cut that off straight. That's going to be in there. Then this is, this is going to come down with the, yeah, we're going to be fine. Because I still have the, if anything, we might another need, one of these. If anything, we might need to buy some more straight pipe to hook them together. Yeah. All right, I'm going to get this piece cut. All right. Time no, I'm just I'm recording our conversation because we never do that. All we do is show the work and nobody cares about the work. They want to hear about 
what we're doing to do it. Is it so. time lapse or going? So it'll be it's loud. Just, yeah, it'll be loud. Okay. I'll just I'll turn down the volume on it. Got to cool it off. Normally I would have my safety glasses on, but when I cut it this time, I closed my eyes the whole time. Once I got set. You can cut that by blindfolding you. Well, you're just holding and, and pushing down. So yeah, I'm sure that's... Normally you should have safety glasses. That's safe. It's safe to do that. Kids at home, if you just close your eyes when you grind, it's fine. You just close your eyes when you clean yeah, all that off. I stopped. Off too. I thought I got to get my safety glasses. You're gonna use safety glasses? Oh, I always do. We need to clean this piece up. This piece. This piece. Oh. Okay. Well, and that's gonna give you plenty. To... I think that kind of reamed it pretty good, don't you? Yeah, it'll it ream it, but it's on the outside. Oh, I have to put it back. Here, let me let me get the burrs off the outside first. Oh yeah, it's full. It's full. Take them right off. I still see a giant piece right there. Yeah, it was a little bit hard to get to. There, I don't care if it's hard to get to. Get it off. I of didn't think I could get to it. Okay, it's all on the inside now. Okay. I mean, it's all going to get covered up with a weld, but. You don't want, you want the inside no, of your saying, exhaust to be smooth. You no, know I'm saying the prettiness of it on the outside, that's all going to have a nice bead weld if you are able to put a nice bead on it. If you're not well, a professional. Are we doing MIG or are we just doing TIG? I don't know. Well, that is a monster. Yeah, yeah you can't take a razor blade and go around it. <laughs> Uh, you got a file. Yeah, a file. Cause this is, no, I can't have it on the inside. This isn't reaming as good as I had hoped. It's too thick. Yeah. See how thick that is? Too thick for this little buddy. A ream away. Give me a drink. I'm alright. I know from watching Nick's videos, all that has to be super clean if we're gonna take it. Yeah. Making it, it'll melt it all. it's doing just isn't allowing you to cut that stuff off. Well, I think this is probably not the best file either. You want a rounded edge file? That's, yeah. All I got is little rat tail files. There's your buddy right here. Already rounded to the right edge for you to... Not a wood file, is it? Probably. <laughs> You could, 
Yeah, you could use the little... Yeah, we could use a little. Here, why don't we do this? This this would get over there. Well, it's it's close right now. Just use one of these. And just go. That'd do it. Why not? It would. Or or one of these flat discs. Like that. Yeah, well, we got one set up for that already. Try that. We need to get this down to science. <laughs> Safety glasses. Yeah, I need. I'm probably going to need a vice too. But I'll take it over the vice and do it. Might have to. Let me get you some light too. Just, I don't want to squish it. I've got the soft jaws you can throw in there. You know the soft jaws. Well, yeah, I It'll, guess I don't want it. It's still, it still would crush it, but you no, know, it's got softer jaws. Yeah, it's magnetic too. Who knew? That's that, yeah. See if that'll hold it. I think it will. you were tying into. Straight. And then your angle is right for the other piece. No. That's not how we're doing. Yes. That's why you cut this piece. So Oh well, yeah 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 okay. So this needs to go up inside there. No it's not gonna go up inside. Okay you're gonna weld it off. Okay. Yes. Alright well this could be welded then if that's gonna be Hopefully it's not going to be too long. We might have to cut this off almost. Yeah, that's what we're test fitting. But there's no more sandwiching in to the other part. We're done sandwiching. That's what you get when you buy an exhaust is they sandwich it all. We're doing custom. It gets all welded up. What it's going to look like. Well, that's. I think it could be up a little more. Well, then we need to cut. Just need to cut some more. A straight yes. out of this. Just. Yeah, that's. Cut that. That's all. Cut that a little bit and call that good. All right. Well, a little bit of an angle will be fine. Who cares? We'll work that into the equation that gives it a little angle. Just as long as you can clamp it. To where it's not going to blow out of there when you, as long as it's tight. Yeah, it's not. I put 
put something in there, I can probably put a little clamp back here. Well, How much we, am I going to cut off? Do not try to do anything with your hand down by there. No, no, no. I'm not Say I should get a little clamp, but this isn't going to work at all. That's where we need a bandsaw. wasn't real bad. That was a good, it was a good clean cut. Well, the, the, um, half is cut, off, cut off. That melts and yeah. burrs. That kind of cut through pretty clean, I, I guess. Okay. So this. No. Yeah. This. Ooh, that, it's a nice, it's a nice fit. Yeah, that should be able to that, get, that should be welded get really a bead good. around that pretty good. Looks like a drain pipe. <laughs> but it goes like that, and that's all right. Well, mock it up, fit it. Let's see. Now let's make sure it's going to fit. Smack it up, flip it, rub it down. No, no. Uh, yeah, we're going to still have to cut this, right? Yeah, that don't have to be cut. I'm cut that flange off of it. Off of that. <laughs> You're just going to. It. That's going to be another piece that we use. Yeah, I'm. I'm not saying we're not using stuff. I'm just saying. Yeah, wherever we cut it, it cuts the flange off. It okay. cuts the flange off. Okay, because that won't be all the way up there flush. It'll have the gasket. Okay, I see you're giving it a little space. Yeah. Now, if that's on there, and it'll twist. Well, wait a minute. You may put a tack on the two together going down straight yeah because that and then you can bolt that in or get it up there and then we can right. come up with the yeah watch 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 it yeah face. you can tack these together because no i'm tacking that together with that no this can be tacked because that isn't going to spin it has to be like that so that could be tacked and then it just and depends on that, where you we rotate don't know where we're going to put it this depends so those Two can be welded together. These Three two. can be welded together. At least tacked. Yeah, we'll tack it. All right, well, we'll get the tacker out and attack it. You got a magnet? So you think I'm tacking that there? There's ground. Are you insane? Why? <laughs> That's the piece you cut off of that. Now you're gonna, we're gonna weld it right back on? No, it isn't. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I would have made it. It would have restored it. Let's restore this this piece of pipe. Should be good. <laughs> I'm looking at you like you're an idiot. I'm thinking and you're it, thinking I'm the idiot. I'm thinking they go together just fine. And our viewers say they're both idiots. That's right. Magnet stronger. I got plenty of magnets. Well, you gotta have it to brace. There we go. Oh, I need is one little dot of attack. And there, that is. Then we're rolling. calling it good. Hang on. Okay. You liking that? Oh, 
welder is on. Flux is fluxing. Yeah, we're not using flux. That was a trick question. Yes, sir. Okay, what gauge steel is that? Uh, probably eight. Yeah, check that one. Is it 18? It's a little wiggly on that one, too tight for that one. So we're going to call it uh, 14 gauge. Wow. Nice and thick. 14 gauge. There you go. Oh, three, five, yep. We're on Megan. Need some of these. Got my welding Jordans on. Yep. <laughs> you didn't know the Jordan brand had welding shoes, did you? No. They're 100% leather. Miller sells them, right? <laughs> Was that Reggie Miller and Michael Jordan? Yep. You ready? Yep. Alright, she's tacked. Now let's put the, put the... Well, tack this side too so it doesn't lift. Alright. See, that's the problem with Megan. See the dot it put on the inside? Yeah. I mean, if we were full-blown race motor, I mean, this is exhaust. Yeah. It's going to exhaust the motor, I'm gonna press which is the motor exhausting on. me. It, it will get, it will get the exhaust out of the car, which is the point, but for a race motor, they don't want any kind of impeding. Right impediments inside the old exhaust, so. Oh, there it is. One fell on the ground. Yeah, what well, do you know? Yeah. I like apples. Put that up one more time just to see if you like. Put it up in there with your little smokestack. Make sure it's yeah. about the right thing to fit and go in and... I mean, more dense is fine. Just. Okay. All right, so fit up in there. That was pretty good. Yep. So now, where's your little chimney stack? And let's put him on there. Oh, look at you, Mr. Smart Guy, putting the flange on there. Yeah, we don't want to have to recut it. It's going to spin around to where it fits perfect on there. Ooh, I like that. You like the way it fits there? Can get a magnet across it. Yeah. Of some sort. Or you can just hold it. I'll tack it. Looks like it's overlapping there a little bit. Though. Yeah, it's got like a flange to it. That's yeah. perfect. You want me to just pop one on it there? Yeah, pop one on it. Hang on. Ah. Why don't you get a pair of gloves on too? Yeah, give me a pair. Just in case I, I don't spark wanna, you. Yeah, I don't want to get shocked either. Are you recording? Yeah, I want. I started. Okay. Okay, let me get this set again. That's close. There it is. You like that? Yep, I love it. Okay, let's do the other side. Pretty nice tight gaps there. I know. Alright, see if that'll float my boat. Thing will hook up there. So then we need to figure where we need to make the next cut. You can hold on to this for a second. there with a gasket. See we've got that much to, to do. Well do you want to get the right height? Put a level across this pipe coming up 
and see what plane no, it needs to come down I to. Wanna, I want to get that to where it's tucked up the same, about the same as that one. I don't get what you're saying, really. Let me see that piece and see if it's going to do what we want it to you do. You just insist on using this piece, don't you? Yeah. See, that'll go... It's going to have to go way up here. I mean, we're going to cut off most of this. I see, yeah. yeah. I knew that. But then this is still a length of pipe that's got a flange on it. That... You love your need, flanges. Do you see need. any flanges up at the top where we welded? No. Because we're not doing flanges. I would suggest bolting that to it, like make that a permanent connection to where we're not putting it all loosey-goosey and then we put it up in after it's all welded and then it doesn't fit. Well, the only thing we can do is, I'm not going to put the gasket on there. Because I can see you keep opening up an angle against no. the uh, alternator, against the exhaust manifold. I think get those bolts tight on there to yeah where we, to where we got a known i'll get her snugged up how's that yeah i would love that you like to get snuggy get snug i don't know if i'm helping or not i don't know if you are that's a story of my work in the garage i don't know if she's helping or not yeah, that's starting to. I, I'm I'm willing to deal with that. That that's where she needs to be. Yeah, it's going a little more on that side. Yeah, you might put a little mark on here to here. That way we know exactly. Because you're only a half inch oh, away. Oh, we're we're move, Watch, you're gonna bust it. You already broke one of the welds. See how it's moving? No. Oh, I see a little bit. Yeah. So we've snapped that other weld. Well, you've got over an inch out here. So yeah, if it if it comes this way a little bit, I like that better. Away we'll from the starter. It's too tight. There. I like that. It gives gives a half inch to an inch on both sides that it can wiggle, and it's going to be down a smidge too. How's that? I'm liking that. Yeah. Okay. Then. Yeah. Maybe a little bit for farther to the right. A little bit over. Well, I'd rather it be well, it's close to this. If anything moves, it's going to move with the starter. So it could be tighter against the starter than this. Yeah, I'm just Because if the motor shakes... I'm just wanting to keep it away from the heat. Keep it away from the starter. Well, you need to put a little heat shield over the starter. Yeah. could wrap that with heat tape, too. Could. I might do that. Just to keep some heat. Put a, okay. little, put a little fiberglass something in front of it. Yeah, I'll just wrap the pipe. Now, where'd the other piece go? I don't. Oh, I stuck it right here on this magnet. And now we need to figure. Not a flanged end, though. No, this flange will go right over the top of that. Oh, you're just going to cut a straight cut and put that flange on? Yes. And then you're going to put... No, we need to bolt it. We need to weld it solid, Pop. Yeah, you the whole ridge. It'll be like this. Well, that flange isn't because we beat that up. It'll go up inside and you'll weld it. Yeah, I'm not putting a clamp there. I'm going to run a bead all the you way You want the flange over it and then weld the outside of the flange. Yeah. Okay. It, yeah. I'm thinking you're going to put a clamp over it. No, and I'm like, no. No, I don't want any clamps. No, no clamp. Wow, it's got to go up pretty far, doesn't it? That's probably... Wow. See, the, but it can come down to here and then go up in the flange will have an adjustment. Okay, fine. Yeah, I like that. All right, hang on. Yeah, I'm at the same height. And that's right there. So where's the marker? I can get you. And I'll mark. I can get you, get you good. Okay. All right. So we're going to cut that off. Not right where the mark is. Straight. But that's... Going to put it there. And then add this much to it. That goes over the flange. Maybe a little less, so it'll go clear up in there. Okay. Yeah. okay. Tell the viewers there what you just did. Show them again. Oh. This pipe, when we come underneath, lined up right there, is perfect for the angle to be straight across to tie in. So can't cut it there unless you're going to butt, you know, butt, try to butt weld it. 
So we'll just use the flange and come down to about where the flange would end. So this will slip over the end that far and we'll weld all the way around it because the flange ends, ends on these. They go way up in there. Yep. There's that much that's an overlap. Plus it'll give it a little play in case we say, no, bring that down a little bit more. Yeah, gotcha, I like it. So that's, that's our plan for two guys that have never welded up an exhaust. Correct? Yep. Well, I mean, so far so good. We got a nice bong. We can smoke some weed in that. This is a, this is a telescope. So what? Oh. It's a telescope. You say telescope, I say big bowl at the end of that. <laughs> so we're shortening our bowl. Shorten the bowl. Well, this is what I've seen. Most of the exhaust work I've seen done is on bitch and rides. And I think Jake just takes all those pieces. It ends up being 36 pieces welded together. And that's what we're, so far in your left hand, you got the flange, a transition piece, and a straight. Yeah. Wow, we're gonna put the 45 on this. We're gonna have a 46 piece exhaust. Yeah, pretty much. Now this piece will go on here. Deburr yeah. up in there. And then it'll come around there. Yeah, we gotta deburr it. So, uh, you want you want this? Try to do it with this. Uh, let me go get the outside first. You may put a couple more spot welds so that doesn't break apart. Sure. Okay. I mean, if you want to go ahead and weld this all up, you can. Because mm. this isn't changing. All that can be welded? Yeah, go ahead and weld it off. All right, well, why don't you get on your welding mask? And so you can rotate and you can watch me welding. And we can rotate and get a nice solid beat all the way around. Okay, so we're going to attempt to... Let's get the little roller out here. What I'm thinking... But I'd like to accomplish is if I'm Megan, you're spinning. Similar to how we did that steering knuckle. Yeah. Oh, we got to get the desk set up for you. Is that what it is? Well, you're going to sit on that side. <laughs> you tell me which one you want to start on. Well, I was thinking that. Yeah, go like this. Yeah, if maybe start at the farthest point. I can start on this bead and work around. Okay. And I may do some spot. Let me let me spot that and just see how that works. See how it looks. And maybe turn the gauge down one. That way I'm not burning through the metal. I mean, I want to burn into it, but yeah, do 16 gauge. But as much in the spot welds that came through to the inside, I think it's going to be fine. With 16. Wait. Um, I just, oh, let wait. me do one here just to see. look at the inside of that and see did it put a bunch of boogers in there or no no it didn't okay did not put a boogers then, then let me just see them from there, there to there that's kind of an open gap there all right both the old men got their glasses on come see what we can make happen Rotate up a little bit here. Rotate up. Yeah. 
just a little on that. Looking pretty good. Look on the inside and see what you think of it. I don't know. I need a light. Here. Oh, that looks good. It just looks like a bead running. Yeah, it looks good. Looks fine. Well, you're melting my paint on my cart. Oh, you're doing it. Oh, yeah, sure. Hold on. That wasn't welding good. I think I pulled away too far. That's pretty good. Good across there. Yeah, I, think so. I think there's a little water in it. I think there was a little water. Was it? I think so. I think it forces you to get far further away. that yeah and then look for any holes I don't want any holes in the exhaust at all so no I know so um, let me go ahead and spot you that burnt through just started to burn through so we got we got a spike hanging down I need to go in little bursts like I've been doing and that worked out fine without burning it up. bit of a gap there so let me button this in just a little bit. Yeah. Alright, I got that. I've been 
you move, it's just let me do the moving. You force it closer or pull it too far away. Okay, up a little bit. Take a minute for my mask to yeah. regenerate. Uh, let me put a spot over here. something happened to it. No, I was... Uh, raised up a little bit. Yep. Home stretch here. I don't know if the camera's catching any of that or not. Alright, last inch or so here. right there. Okay. Gotta get it. That should be pretty well clean. Mm -hmm. Now we can turn out the lights, put a light in. Yeah. Or close one in, put a light on the outside and look in and All right. see. Put your hand over the end and put it over your mouth and blow into it. See if it Get pressure. Put some weed in the end and oh, see we got one where I blew through one little yeah, booger sticking out. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Yowza. Yeah it gets hot through the glove too. Especially <laughs> when your finger's blown out. Oh yeah. Woo wee. Alright so go do that underwater. I am. Alright here's Pop's test. Cooled it off. Filled it up with water with my hand over it. I don't see it dripping. No leaks. If water don't get through, air's not going. Air won't either. There's a big burr down in there. There's a big burr? Yeah, it's not from welding. Did you not clean it out before we welded it or? Yeah, see that's... Oh, that must have just of, been a thin piece of metal. That's one of these from yeah. that. I see. Yeah, it's not bad in Well, that there. little reaching tool did pretty good. That's what I used, I think, to do some porting and some stuff on some exhaust that I built on the charger, but I don't remember. But yeah, any of those burrs. Oh, maybe it was, what was the last car? Do we have to do some exhaust work on the 
69 Mach AB. Because I think we did clean up a little bit of stuff on that. Get your glasses on. Get I your do. glasses on. Or put your shield down or something. You want a new bigger pad? Oh no, it's worth it's still pristine. Okay. Pristine. I didn't say Christine. <laughs> oh, your nails done? Mm hmm Take them off right to the quick real fast. Yeah. Not too bad. Cool. That just needs to be able to go yeah. into the flanged area or the sleeve. Okay. Yeah, we need cool. to see. It needs to go onto this. And it does. Sweet. See, we can go to get our height. We can go clear up to the air. Yeah, wherever. And if I weld over other weld, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, I'm thinking it's going to hit right about in here somewhere. Okay, well, let's mock up. Okay, are we going to try to grind any of this outside first? Uh, I'd say let's put the next one on and then grind, weld all it up and then I'll just go to town grinding all over it, clean it all up. All right, let's, wait, hang on, man. Wow. Squeezing your will to live. Squeezing my brain juices. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. All right, let's see what fitting it up looks like. It's gonna be right there. You like it there? But down, you know, it'll have the squished things. But... Okay. Then, how do we establish? We need to see about some transition pieces. Do we just stick a four-foot level across these and see, and then drop it down, put a line of where it needs to be in order to be? Well, this isn't permanent here. It it'll go up or down too. Oh, this could wiggle a little too. Yeah, it could come down. Okay, so we just need, if we put a level and get it level yeah, across here, then that would give us, we'd be close enough that the next pipe slips into that and call it good. Yep. Okay, then let me get a little level. There's one hanging, but it's a big one. So, mocked in to about the level there. So you need to come down just a smidge. So it needs to be... Uh, oh, you know what? This could come down too because it's it's too tall. There you go. That could drop a little bit, and then from there to there, it's traveling traveling uphill. So it needs to be right there to be level. I'd say that's gonna be fine and dandy enough that we can wiggle and you need a marker? No. I got it, but I, I want I wanna make sure. Well, test it again. Put it back yeah, in. Yeah, because there. put it this, back in there. This and then, has a lot to do with it. Then put a line exactly where it goes. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that. Okay. Yeah, I need a marker. I'm pretty sure I know. Pretty sure doesn't. No, I know. Welding doesn't fix pretty sure. Okay, that's going to end up. That's right about there. I mean, level with the car is there, but I think we need to be traveling upwards. So, I I think that looks come down a little bit. Right there, right? No, down a little bit. Right there. I would say, yeah. If you did that, we can get, make that work. Uh, hold on, let me look at the travel line. Um, looks right. Looks pretty darn close to me. Okay. So, do you need me? Oh, that's actually level. You could go up a little bit. I, um, right there? Yeah, I think right about there. And twist. That's pretty good. Okay, I got my pin and I, I'm holding both, so take the pin. You're not marking the other. There you go. Now put across the wet edge. Come, come lower. You're not, you're not marking 
The oh. pipe I'm holding. Oh, sorry. There you go. Okay, we gotta put it back up there because you didn't mark around how far this is up. Oh, okay. You only did the the alignment like that. There's the alignment, and okay. this is good. Now we need to know how. Uh, let's see. Okay, now I'm on it. Just put it up in there and fit it. It should be fit to the right spot where you like it. Right there. No, that's way off. It needs to be over here. Oh, hang on. There. Oops, a daisy. It could be up. Huh. That's that's pretty. That's close. It's still gonna travel downhill a little bit. Okay. Well, that's all the way up there. But go ahead and put a well. Not that the line's gonna help, but because it's I got it butted. Oh, do you? Okay. It's hitting that other wall. Okay. But yeah. that's our line right there, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Tack this, and then we'll fit it again where I don't have to hold it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Good idea. So we want the level out still, just to make sure. Yeah. That we're... Because if this needs to, you can see it on camera. If this needs to twist a little bit, we can pop those tacks. Yep, okay. Let's attack it. Okay. You got yeah. the ground on. You got the ground? You're 16. I want you to put it to where you're not holding it. Well, I can hold it. I can hold it back here. Now yeah, you can just do it. I don't like. I don't like welding and holding the metal as you do it. Just my own personal thing. I know it might be crazy, but so this goes there. And there huh? Yep. All right. All right. Go for it. Packing one spot to get it close to where we think we need to be oh you gotta look away go ahead that's just a little tack no it isn't oh didn't didn't didn't, didn't tack well, put it back where it was because it's, it's where it is well it's a quarter inch off from where i just was well that's Oh, that's it. You just only did it on that pipe. I can see my burn, Pop. Put it. Yeah, that's wrong. Either you weren't holding it right the first time, or <laughs> that's it right there. You want it there? Yep. That should hold her. Yep. Okay, yeah, we can. So test fitting, then we're welding that all the way around, huh? Yep, 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 yep. Well, it's nice to put a whole piece up here. Um, it's it's headed pretty. Well, I wasn't even filming right. See, just, this this can twist. Yeah, that's headed too far in. Get it sealed up on there. Well, I'm holding it off. I mean, it's really close. I think I think it'll work. See, there's all the way up. Yeah, it's fine. But there's going to be a gasket, and it's going to bring it down a quarter inch, maybe, right there. Yeah, looks so, fine. It's going to be fine. We'll weld it all up. We'll just take it and do like we did the yep. other ones and do an inch or so. I just, I don't want to burn through and put all those burrs inside. We're never going to be able to get this reacher tool. No down in there to so i'm just going to be careful plus i'm not w butt welding this has got metal underneath it yeah it's the, underneath to there yeah so i'm just if i just seal this edge i think we're good yes okay my son finally found his glasses so they were put away right where they were supposed to be and i didn't look there yeah of course so now we're ready we think Give it to me a little bit, like, yeah, let's try that. Whoops. Careful. Yeah, 
can't even blame you for that one. I think I need to get more into this pipe. Because that, let me, let me put a bead right next to that one. Yeah, much happier with that. Uh, maybe turn up the pressure. Turn up the... Turn up the heat since I'm not butt welding. I really want it to penetrate this. That sounded like it was eating better. Uh, a little down. Let me, let me, let me come into this weld there. There's a little dot that I'm not thrilled with right there. Yep, like that. Yep, like that. Like that. Like that. Oh, maybe not. Let me let me go a stripe right next to it. That's sealed. Yep. Yeah. Where at? Yeah. Well, I guess it's all filled in. Yeah. That all looks good. You like it all? Yeah. I like it. Um, let me. I think that's good, but I'm always a guy that likes to put way too much weld in. We can fill it with water again. All right, do the water test. Looks like it might be bubbling right out of here. So let's we'll do a we'll do a light test, yeah. and we'll see if we can see any light, and then we'll patch a couple holes. Man, I can't. I sure can't. You can't blow that trombone. <laughs> well, let's do a light test and see. Hey, Jose, I don't feel. feel All right, doing the old dawn, dawn and water trick. He said he could hear a little bit of air coming out. Oh, yep, right out of the end here. Mm-hmm. Or I can just go around that end Man. again. Man, it's, it's so it's so light. Well, you got it pretty bubbly there now, so Oh, it came out here too. I saw it come out. And right there. So. And right here. Oh I see, yep. Alright, let me just Yep, you're bubbling. Bubbling there. So, put a mark on that. All right, we're gonna put a little bit better weld in like three little places where it was bubbling. Try to, at least. So, I think I'm gonna come along this line right here. Okay. Having four leaks with four connections, that's not bad. 99% done, it's just that one little hole. Yeah. Everything else was sealed. Okay. 
the I'm gonna come on the back side of that too. probably get that. Now uh, I want to come up along that line right there. I think that's suspect. You can hear the water boiling inside it. trace this V out again. You follow me? Yep. So I'm going to try to fill that side of the V and this side of the V. Got that one for sure. Yeah. Well, there's tons of weld on it. You want to do the? Uh, let me get put it up on its end. I want to get this corner. I'm gonna stripe stripe both sides of that too, because that was pretty thin. Those two coming together there. Okay. Is the ground hooked up? Yep. Side too. Yeah, let me let me get this box out of it. Just right along there. Don't blow through it. Trying not to. Burning my leg over here. All right, it officially looks horrible, so do the dunk test, do the dawn test. Let's see. We might have a leakless exhaust. Right in the center of those. So I'm going to flow that, crank up the pressure a little bit, flow that down in, and then walk around and make a little box. So I think the air is leaking in here. My weld didn't penetrate all the way through and there's a little space that you can see it isn't penetrated in the inside. So last leak repair. And you're not watching this time, you're just gonna... Yeah. Well, I'm gonna watch this. Yeah, you better. I'm watching this time. Just go for it. All right, go ahead and crank up the pressure. It's on 16 now, put it on 14 so sure? I can really melt through all this stuff, yeah. Yeah, I don't want you to burn it. It's pretty well Good. covered up. Thank you, got her. All right, last. Last water test. Yeah, that that made a better weld higher higher up. Did it close that little gap in there? No. Nope. It may have closed the hole on the outside. It was right. leaking that though. That's all I care about. Okay. Okay, we did the the water test, the blow test. All this is good. We're going to uh, 
end up wrapping all this once this is all in the starters here I think I'm gonna wrap that with the insulated heat tape and come down as far as we need to just to keep that starter from being yeah it 500 ends up, degrees yeah it'll keep the heat off the starter all right and well it'll, it'll we haven't test fit it since we welded everything up no. so so put it up in there let's see what it looks yep. like see what she looks like Right there. I'll be darned. Well, I'll be. Would you just look at that? Would you just look at that? Yeah, I like it. Yeah. So you're going to tape up the whole thing. You might tape up the whole thing. Nobody would even know that that was... Uh... No, you won't even see all those welds. Oh, okay. Because we'll, we'll hide all the... I well, mean, they're... it'll look like a factory piece. All yeah. wrapped in high temp cloth of some sort. Asbestos cloth or whatever they use for exhaust. And that's our only waste. Can you imagine that? Holy cow. We are excellent. Oh, wait a minute. I'm wrong. It was another ring with you. Golly gee. I don't think there's any more welding. I bought this piece at, O'Re at O'Reilly's because I thought I'd come down instead of, <laughs> which it was never going to accomplish that. But I thought this would be very flexible. But oh my gosh, you can't. <laughs> Once you get a pipe on it, you might get a few degrees out of that. I just thought that would be very flexible. But you can't tell that online when it's supposed to be a, a, a flex with extensions. Yeah. So, uh, that doesn't flex a lot. They make more well, maybe, braided. Maybe you got to torque it like in a vise or have well, it actually hooked up to the exhaust. They so. have more braid about section that big. And then that, that probably, you could probably really get some bends out of that. but that's all the space we had so it worked out fine that we had to weld it the other side this is going to be on their full piece and we use the other the other nine or the other 45 and that comes down perfect to line up with these all right so we're welding that next uh we can i mean yeah, might as well get it all done. We got everything out. I mean, these I have all. The, I have all the clamps for these. No but, clamping. Well, it's got to be clamped at some point, but yeah. Yeah, this will be a, a little bit of adjustment, probably. Yeah, let's. Uh, but yeah, we'll let's continue shift gears and do that next, since this side is done. Well, this side's not done yet. We still got to finish the rest of the pieces and possibly cut off. We need to finish fitting it and match up with what's what's on the car. So we'll do that, and then we can then we can finish it. Gotcha. Okay. Hi. Right. All right, getting our pieces in, and what what are you thinking? Let me look at like this. Here. At this shorter piece, cut off straight. We'll weld this. We'll weld this, and then this one here. It's got all the slits. This will get a clamp like that. So you can undo that, drop it, pull it forward. If you ever need to take the tranny out, you don't have to try to okay, drop you, the whole exhaust system. That, do you have room to move forward towards the front of the motor? Oh yeah. That it'll it'll yeah, go. See, look. Okay, I see. Come yes. right off in there. So that is right. So if you're on it, why don't you take the marker? You just if need you, to mark these two. If you wanted to weld those two, we can weld those two up. Yep. How's That's that? pretty cool. So you said it was what, twelve hundred dollars or something, for the piece that hooks up? Yeah, I was like, it could have been for the pair, but then another thought: you're going to have two thousand dollars in your exhaust. And did you put marks to mark to where they line up to each other really well too? Uh, it doesn't matter. It's a tube. Oh, it's just a straight. So. Yeah, so okay. that won't matter. Okay. We have the pin top. Straight tube welding. You got the cap? Yep, I got a cap for you. I cap that ass. So I'm wondering if this will come a little bit forward. Gosh, I really crammed it down in there, didn't I? Okay. Still good I see, yeah, you're a quarter inch out now. Yeah, I wanted another quarter inch. 
Yeah, that should be good. Okay. Now I got the camera decent. So we're just welding in the round in those circles, huh? Yep. Okay, I can do that. Let's see how that turns out. If you want to weld, I'm thinking I could just do this while you're welding. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't figured if you that stay out. On it, top of it. It's just not comfortable to. All right. I mean, I've seen Nick taking uh, Mac TV. He just has it to where it, it almost rolls, and he just follows it. But he's TIG welding. Right. But same concept with MIG. It's just I don't I don't have the touch yet, and I guess you only get it by doing this stuff. You only get better with practice. Yep. So, how deep did I put this? Let's one? do some mo practicing. Oh, good. Not real deep, but deep enough. Well, I need to do this piece first. So take this one off. We don't need that hanging all the way out there. Wow, look how it does it. It hangs off here. Huh? It hangs because it gets clamped. <laughs> oh, well then I'll fill this hole. I'll fill the slits and then fill around. Okay. If you like that. Yep. Then, then that's what I'll do. Are you recording right now? Yeah, it's going. Okay. And it's still set on 14 gauge. I'm gonna leave it on 14 since we're not butt welding. And it should just really get some nice heat going. To tack both of them, make sure that you like the way that they're out, they are on here. No, they're, uh -huh. they're going to be fine because they're straight. Well, it might curve a little bit. Flip it over. I'll tack the other side. Wow. Why don't you put this? Put the next piece on. Go ahead and do that one. And then we can we can tap that down. We can oh, tap that down. Okay, that'll that'd be good. Let me get the tapper. You got a tapper over there? So you're basically squeezing it. Why don't you squeeze it? Put Camera down there. Yeah, that took it down. Yeah, that that's closer. Yep, a little little more tapping. So that's basically clamping it. Yeah, it's all good all the way around now. I mean, it's not a big gap. Okay, do you now. want to put the other piece, fit it up, make no, sure? No, let's weld because it's just circle. Okay. And it's it's, it it's, just, it's just length. I know. I just I'm I'm careful. I like to be careful. Ooh. Oh, ground. Ground me, ground me. Good flow. Good flow, flow. Hey, good flow. Hold her just like that. I'll finish this up. You want to do the next one? Sure, might as well. And then I'll just go around the outside yep. of it. look pretty good yeah pretty 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 good
Yeah, look down inside there and see if you can see. It looks like some nice burn lines. Yep, oh, it's hot as hell in there, so. Okay, so I'll just stitch. I'll do a stitch from here to there. Okay. And then. Whoop. Hold on. I skipped it. That looks pretty good, but I'll, I guess, put it up here. Put it like that, and then I'll stitch this. I think we got a thunderstorm coming. Yep. Yowza! on me. I went too long. Still looks great. Yeah. That's there's your little flag ball. Yeah, usually those would end up in my socks. Yeah. Okay. Maybe a little faster on the speed of going because that that almost went through. I can see it's welding like crazy. Uh, why don't you smack that down? Pound that down. Smack that all on the floor. Went down. Yep, I think so. Okay, then I'll stick from there to there. Woo! Last of one, I'll smack that too. It's got a little gap in it. It's better now. Uh, I can't tell if we bumped the camera out of there or not. But. Just, just a little, uh, she flowed, Flo. Looking good. All right, cool. So, yeah, I can see it glowing red in the inside, too. Next piece. Where'd we take Where'd we put it? I put it on here. Oh. Can you still see the mark? Um, I see the mark, but I don't see where you had your where you had the. Oh, there's the little dip right there. There's a little dipper right there. Oh, you see it? Okay. Woo! That's hot. Oh, I know. You can't hold it much. Okay. okay. Go ahead and I'll hold it out here and you tack it. I'm gonna tack, and then you've got to go and fit this. I think that'll hold for a test. Test fit time, test fit time. Oh, we need to keep our gloves on. Yeah. It's hot as Hades. I know it. Okay, test fit complete. We like it a lot. You got some grounding going. Um, I like being able to see on this side. Uh, let me take the other side attack or let me just start yeah go ahead and just do it I can roll it some too that looks good yeah I think so roll it up a little uh, yep. hang on hang on uh, down a little bit just let me continue that sorry on fire. <laughs> yep. Uh, 
put it back so I can get along this edge. Much happier with that. Yeah, put it up here and I'll just. No, did you already you met that? Yeah, I flowed into that. Okay, good. Oh, I just saw it pop. Let me let me go over that and then I'll continue down. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And I'm just gonna finish stitching this here. Sorry, I got mask issues. Does it all flow together? I think so. I, guess so. Yeah. I can do a little bit more there. That was kind of weak there, but. I'll do a little more from here to there. Sorry. It bumped on me a little. Look at that's golden. Literally. Golden. That's your custom exhaust piece. I'm really confident that we don't have any leaks on these. No, because... I, gotta get I just on. kept flowing and flowing. I think that's how you do a better exhaust weld. Uh, is what? Is in a in a contained environment in the perfect world, you just continue that weld right. all the way around. If you can have that flowing exactly. I mean, your weld's going to be perfect. I like it. All right, father and son in their garage, hacking well, together an exhaust. You can see the line as it goes back. And perfect is right with the gasket probably on it. Yeah, that's going to end up right there. So and that goes all the way up. I see your, I see your gap up between the exhaust manifold and. Yep. So the donut goes in there. Yep. This is donut's last thing because it's going to crush it. It's one of those crushable type, one time use only. <laughs> Very cool. And it goes up far enough, you can take that out and then... Yeah, you can have this, it just like this, have And this is all stationary and you can change transmission. Right. If something happened. Yeah, that is awesome custom exhaust. Yep. Done on Clark's place. You guys are good, I swear. <laughs> and I don't swear. All right. All right, got some PC we parts there, it looks like. Original flange, original 45, another piece, and another piece, which we have to cut off because once this is up here, wait a minute, get that situated. Yep, and I marked it. It could actually be back another. Oh, I see the second mark. Yeah, the second mark fits up in there. The second mark is fine. So okay. cut that off straight. And that's what these seated as far as they go. Yep, I like it. So I'm gonna cut this off. Cut her off. And then we suck them all up and weld them. Hopefully this is our last cut. Time lapse time. All right. Wish that had the, uh, as soon as you let off the trigger, it would break it. Cause it- Oh, it, it winds keeps, down. It keeps spinning for a minute. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh -huh. All Sorry, right. that was only one second of our video, so... Right, I know, it doesn't take long. Viewers will just have to deal with that winding down. Okay. Cleanup time! That's 
about the best bee burrer we have, huh? Yeah, so far. It does a good job. Cool. We'll get the inside and be done. Okay, so it's got a little bit of a bend that it's going to end up sticking out a little bit in order to get the angle away from the motor and then it's kind of down right if this is the car level so we need so to, we, we will have to cut need to a little bring pie that up a little bit in order to bring this to where it comes in like this yeah not that drastic but i'm over exaggerating yeah. but yeah it's, it'll probably end up something like that yep which okay which you can see we can just trace that line whatever the angle needs to be yeah and just cut that yep. out sink this in and then it'll almost be a butt weld almost. to this. Yeah. Okay. So this we're welding in tight. Yeah. Okay. No. Nope. Well, I, I just I, sunk I, this down in farther. I know. I marked it. Oh, sorry. And you just went over the mark. There it is. There's where you liked it, huh? Yeah, because this needed to drop down more. Okay. Weldy weld. Measure 16 times and weld once. Yes. Are we just tacking? Is that what we're doing? No, put, weld put, that one up. Oh, you want to weld it all the way around, huh? Yep, it's ready. Okay. We're grounded. 14 gauge, is that what you want, or 16? I think the 14 was doing pretty good. So we'll tack a couple here. Let's flip it over. A tack of this. And then I liked having the line to where I could see opposite the line and weld to the line. So let's flip it around. I like welding. I can I can really see the line real good this way. Put it on the sticker that way it doesn't conduct. Nice little stitch there. That was a good one. Okay. Continuing. You want to hammer that a little? Oh, it's, it's pretty seated. Mm-hmm. Finger slip. Oh, I didn't connect them. He's connected. He's got connection. That looks like... Hold on, let me look at the inside. Yeah, it's just... Look, you can see it's sealed all the way around. I don't know if you'll be able to make it out or not. It's sealed all the way around. Like, at least the heat burnt through. Oh, yeah. So it was glowing red all the way around. So that's sealed perfect. Oh, oh man, I lost my sticker. Yeah, hey, your stickers came off. That's the only way you take stickers off is if they burn off, huh? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> they stink too. Okay, yeah, so that's good. Now we need to mock that up, cool it off. Yeah, I gotta cool it off. Mock it up, and then we'll get the next piece pie cut out yeah. to where it'll go in good. I would say rotate it a little bit like this. Well, no, guess not. You get, you got to get it sunk up to where it's good. Right there is where it goes. Well, but that's pointing right at the other pipe right now. Okay, well, maybe it, this goes onto that. No, see, it's it's got an angle down to it. Yeah. So we need to take this out, I guess. 
and then mock that one up. Here, let me put this over here. We need a marker. We should put the short piece first because this takes it down too far. You'd be coming up here, starting your cut. Cause see, we're getting way yeah, down but I'm, low. Yeah, but I'm planning on taking and... Well, if you're gonna mock this piece up. I'm just gonna up, butt weld this together with a little bit of an angle on it to make sure it comes in straight. You see what I'm saying? Why don't you do, we cut this at an angle, spin it and weld it. Okay, well then. It isn't gonna take much of an angle. Then we just cut this at a 45 and then rotate it to where it's the right I don't width. think it needs a 45. Any angle we put, we can rotate the angle and okay. that'll be fine. Oh, but I it's gonna have to be a butt weld Yes. All right. Over there. We're gonna come up with some harebrained way of cutting the straight piece, rotating a little, welding it back, and seeing how that works. All right. Tell us what you're doing there. Okay. Since that's our pipe, we cut it at a 45. I'm get you here. So we cut it at a 45. Then we take and we can rotate that pipe. And if this is coming down and we want it to come up a little. Well, I think it only goes back to make a 90. Otherwise your angles get all weird. Yeah, that's that's a 90. But so yeah. That, that doesn't go right together. No, it doesn't. So we either do a 90. Well, that's where you need to be a mathematician to go. If I cut it at a 22 degree angle, I can make it make a bend that is uh five degrees i don't know because a 45 cut makes a 90. right but i'm saying if we don't cut it so drastically at a 45 just cut it a little bit at yeah, an angle a little bit of an angle so it's not that radical it's just way here then it almost rotates and you've got your even that amount, if it was a 45, I could weld those. It won't be a, a perfect. We could try this one. Cut that one down. And see how it looks. Just at a, a I don't know. Not shoot, much. A shallow angle. Yeah. And let's see how it rotates. Okay, very scientific. We just cut a shallow angle. A shallow angle. And you can see what change that makes just yeah hold it on the outside just a little see. bit you can you can see and you can still weld all the way around and it just makes a subtle change yeah and i 15, see 15 20 degree that's gonna be fine and that's all we need so we just need to cut this angle yeah right in here somewhere so this comes up because I just don't want to go in too deep. We just just off the very end. Right off the then end. Then we'll butt weld this. Here, take that off. Take that out, and then put this. If this is here, not that one. Oh yeah, you could do that too. Because this rotates. Yeah. Well, this is a collar. We could weld that collar right onto there. So put this that pipe into this. Yeah, but then you don't have. Then we need to cut our union down a little bit, this much probably, because it'll be sunk into the other. Here. Yeah. If this is on this, we get this fit up to whatever the right angle is, and then that changes that trajectory. Then I oh, then I butt weld two welds around. Let's try it. See how it looks. Okay, there's where that needs to be. All right. So, you want me to tack, how about I tack no, I this want, onto this? I just want you to put it up there. Oh yeah, that's going to line up fine. Yeah, why don't I tack this onto this, onto here. That way this is a straight pipe. I tack that so it's got an angle on the collar. Yeah, but we... And then we can rotate that to the right angle to where it slides into this. And then we know we're perfect. Okay, so... We're welding this collar on and we rotated it to where we liked it and then if this collar is on there 
which it's not the best cut. We need to clean that up. Oh, we haven't even cleaned it up. Here. No, we just cut it with a hacksaw. So we'll clean that up, and then this ends up making the right trajectory. Yes. We're just going to tack and tack, and it might need to be pulled a little bit one way or the other, but I think that's pretty darn close. So we're going to test that and see how that works out. Okay. Move that out their way. Uh, go ahead and knock it down one notch, please. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's going to be a little bit wonky. Here's a big man. And walk a, walk a little bit because of the different angles. Yeah. Let me get. Okay, that feels good all the way around. Did you knock me down one? Did you knock me down a peg there? Yes. Okay. Uh, so it doesn't come apart. Let's. Yes. Let me. Okay. Now we'll take that, fit that up, and make sure that that is good. And this is going to go in. And it does slide in and marry with the other one along its merry way. You want another tack? Oh, there we go. Okay. Yep, let's test and that. And that is down. Well, it can go just a touch. Yeah, that's, it, but it's not going to change the angle. The angle is that coupler we just put on. Whoa. Careful. Things heavier. I didn't catch it on camera. Nobody will ever see that. Wow. That looks absolutely perfect. Perfect. All right. That's going right into it? Yep. Okay, well then I'll weld all of that all together of and then we might have to change i know the last piece the last piece and make it a little shorter I might have to all right well let me get to welding all that stuff together then all right you like it like this right when the butts on that side yeah i'm gonna have to butt let me you got it down to 16 gauge so uh let me connect this to that that way that way it's got good conductivity from there to this piece and then I'll butt weld I guess I'll butt weld this one if you like that it's fine okay now I'll flip it and I'll put one more spot here Now you can finish the butt why don't, why don't you go test it to that again? Make sure something didn't flex a little bit. Well, it couldn't have. It's just a straight pipe. It could have. Mm -hmm. could have heated up and bent just a little bit. Maybe I, <laughs> I have confidence. Okay, so 16 gauge. Now I'm just butt welding. Butt welding. thought I saw it. Yep, a little hole. Again. I mean, it, it's. I'm not putting lots of crap inside. Let me, it. let me get my helmet. I'm gonna have to walk this almost like stacking dimes, kind of just keep on going because watch the tire. <laughs> Golly. It didn't hurt me because I had, I had it on. Let me turn it down one more. No. Nope. I just need to kind of move the puddle down. Sorry, my mask is staying dark. I think it's going to go good. Yeah, it is.
think it's got crap on it. That's why it's, yeah, it's popping and hissing because I got stickers on it, Mr. Clark. Get off of me. Don't get me wrong, I like stickers. Thought you did. I got a little bit of a more of a gap here, so I'm just gonna go a little bit slower. Try not to burn them apart. Connected. All right, I gotta bump it up one. Oh no, bump it down. Yeah, that kind of that kind of stack some shitty dimes. <laughs> That's all connected good. I like it. Okay. Okay. So we're still good. I'm just gonna wait a minute. We should have had it on 18, right? Or 14? No, 14. Go up to 14. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I went, I went the opposite way. Okay. Slippage there. Yeah. Uh, little magnet coming on again. Oh, that's good right there. Fit time. All right, what did we do? That's, there she be. That's looking like they'll connect. So yeah. now we need to keep that at that right plane, like it's connected, and yes. then get the right measurement for the union. Well, we can check that one we had. And then we just weld one side of the union and then yeah. shove it in. It shoves it in. Okay. But it's a it's a solid piece. That's what it is. Yeah, it's just a straight piece there. It's this straight piece. But I think it's going to be it's too an long, inch too long now. Yeah. Because we added that little yeah, collar. You... Well, stick it in there. Because then you'll have to mark the other end. All right, that is seated. So, yeah, you get you squared away. Let me get a mark where I think we need to cut her again. 
That's pretty much where it'll be. You like it there? Uh-huh. Then I'm thinking, all right, if we continue that line all the way around. All right. That will seat pretty darn good. Now we're gonna weld this one too, right? Yeah, once we yeah, cut that, weld. this gets welded yeah, here, here, and that just stays loose, and this will get a clamp. Clamp, okay. So yeah, cool. Okay, now clean up on Union 2. Yes. Cool. Clean her up. You like that? I think. I guess it doesn't matter either side. Don't matter. Now yeah, was that seated all the way? I think so. We better we better test it before I start welding. Throw it up there. Let's let's see. Should be able to put it in and then just put it right in like it was made to be that way. If I go forward, past into the slot. That needs to go up in the front because it's. Way out of now, it that can come, angle. This can come down a little. Yeah. Uh, let's well, cut, you need to rotate this. It needs to rotate towards the motor. You don't have it actually right there. Now you're getting to where it's straightening it out. Put it like it's mounted. That's got a little bit of a gap in between them. Oh, there is. Well, this is way up in there, though. So we'll pull this out some. Well, it's got a quarter inch gap that I can see light through there. Yeah, we'll see. I can, I can definitely take, take that. <laughs> You're still going to get plenty in there. Well, put it on. put it on there and see if you can get the front fit up to it. See? We'll just back that off some. I'm saying put get it where it goes. Right there. Yeah, that has a little bit of an angle here. It's not coming back exactly perfect but it's got an overlap that that'll you'll be able to fill so it needs to come back i've got an inch that that needs to come back into this pipe okay to even clamp here and have well, any chance of this is going to come down a little well i think with that the gasket. well rotate rotate that's that's got it okay that sealed here and then you rotate that up and it's perfect okay is it It'll, sealed well all exhaust yeah it's all the way around and we've got it this is under pressure so that won't could, be on there yeah and that'll that'll go in there just fine well and then we'll clamp it settling it you just shoved i know i had up. that tight there Okay, that's pretty much on. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, that's that's on it. Perfect. Yep, and that's sealed all the way. So, okay. What are we doing? We're marking a line on this. Yeah. So mark a line here, and then that's where we're welding. Well, I think it's butted all the way, isn't it? Um, I don't know. I have to check. All right. All right. Maybe. Potentially last weld. Look, at this is this is one of those fern pipes. See what it says there? Made in Canada. Ah. So are you intending on having that cheated out a smidge? No, it just moved there. Well, there's there's a little bit of wiggle here that you could get. No, it's all right. That's what I'm saying. Is if this is coming out of the motor like that. There you go. That's all the way now. There's a little bit of cheating that you could do here. Well, we're already cramming it, so this is good. All right. Let's 
You want to tack and then put no, it up just, in there? Oh, I guess we can. Okay. Uh, why don't we see how that, just the one tack on it? Oh, it, I'm sure it fits fine. You want to go all the way around? Yeah, well, you drew a circle all around and it was tight. Doesn't sound right. What do you have it on? 14 gauge, okay. Right, Maybe I'm just at the wrong angle. I need to I need to penetrate a little better here. That's doing all right. Yeah, it's doing fine. Uh, let it pause there just a second so the uh, gas does its work. Like, don't rotate it out from the nozzle right away. A little more. Alrighty. Last stretch. Oh, I need to go. Let me get a little bit. I'm going to connect those two here. Okay. Should be a good. Looks like it. I think. Yep. It's done. It's square. Should fit up and be nice. Alright, what's it looking like? That's fitting back here, yep. Are you fitting up there? Yep. Fitting here. Well, then that's the ball game. That's it. We put, us, put us a clamp on there. Yep. Put the other one that's, that's laying right here. We already know it fits in there. We'll cut these zip ties off to where it's all supported. It yep. might cock this a little bit different, but we've got this one that we can loosen and, and rotate. That's got right. clearance under the trans. Plenty of clearance trans under mount. the trans here. Goes right up. Oh, we're not up there yet. Now. Oh, I see. There's where it'll be. It's a little closer, but. Yeah, but still, it's fine. The, this, the motor and all that moves with it. Yeah, so it's the never going to be any closer than that. If, if any vibration, the exhaust wiggles a little bit too. And that's why right. it's got the little rubber stanchions here. That The exhaust does move a little bit with the motor. Yep. But I think that's looking pretty dandy there, Pop. Uh, uh, air tested, water tested again. No leaks anywhere. Yes, sir. So, and this... Uh, you move that back just a smidge, so this does seal. There's no, there's I no see. more, the there's no more gaps. Cool. Pretty cool pipe system, and when you buy it made to go to headers, you got to do some customization. I think he might cut off back here and put some down tips or something. So that's the last thing that we'll need to do is something with the tips to kind of get those off. Cut it, at a, cut it at a little angle or something and uh, let it sink over and come out and down. And we'll try to get those as even as possible coming out the back. Goes right on. Look at you getting that all squared away. All right. Any last comments for the exhaustive work we've done on this thing? No, I think, I think it's going to be good. Get these tie wraps off and it'll be a good solid exhaust system. Yeah, awesome. Cool. Custom 
Custom <laughs> headers. No, no headers. Custom Standard exhaust. exhaust manifolds. Standard exhaust manifolds. That we but, adapted. But yeah, it looks pretty we good. Make it work. Yep. Cool. I like it. Me too. Okay, we are finished with the exhaust, which you can look here from the back end. Here, I'm nursing an injury. Yeah, he he got stabbed. Wow. Little bitty poke. Somebody stabbed me after I did all this work. <laughs> anyway. This looks perfect. The exhaust, if you look at it straight under the car, boy, it's, it's, it's all tucked up real nice. And we still have this, uh, this right here to put tips on. And then yeah, the tip, the, the clamp will clamp around the tip and clamp around yeah. the pipe and then go to whatever we attachment. make that's attachment right. for that. So that won't be filmed. But this already has the straps. Yeah, so I think, I think this, this is, is solid. My shot. Just looking, come back here and make sure you get this. Just kind of pan up and down. You can see all the hangers look symmetrical. Yeah. Everything's, everything's perfect. You did a good job on that one there, Clark. Yeah, you did a good welding job. These, we've tightened all these, these. These are all tight like they're supposed to be. Big bolts, had to get some bigger bolts to put in there to, uh, they didn't have enough threads for the gasket to squish, squish the this, uh, gasket down. And your exhaust manifolds had been drilled out. Yeah, the exhaust manifolds, had, these had been drilled out to where you couldn't put a, drive a stud up in there and then just put a nut on some some of these studs sticking out. So it's a complete bolt going through, which, you know, that's not big a deal, that big a deal, but come oil filter on. And this, like I say, is, is all solid. It all looks good. We're going to take over here, probably both sides, and wrap some of the heat tape around it just to keep it away from the starter here and come down so far, keep it off these transmission lines that run right here real close to it. And we'll do the same over here. But that should do it. Any other wise words to say? If you learned anything from us muddling through it, like, subscribe. Uh, it's Clark's Place on Facebook. If you want to get on there, I pretty much handle all the Clark's Place stuff. But um, if you love the video, thumb it up. If you hated it, thumbs it down. Uh, maybe we'll learn what you guys like. Uh, email is clarksplace at yahoo.com. Email me, and uh, we'll continue to put out content that you guys like. So thanks for watching. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.